Here in Denmark, we have a very active network with uh, six active working groups. And one of the ones I find very inspiring is the one about artificial intelligence. So we know that in the coming year, we'll see this a digitalization of the entire water sector, where we'll see a lot of new technologies coming into our field, such as artificial intelligence, virtual reality, and this entire big data trend. And that's really interesting. And our working group is working on all sorts of fronts within these fields. So they're working within the very technological aspect, but they're actually also looking into the ethical part of it and also what sort of competences we need for the future. And that really overlaps with our other, other working group that looks into the workforce of tomorrow. And so, it's, for example, being able to work interdisciplinary, working with people from other fields besides your own, making sure that you're able to communicate very complex technical yeah. messages is, is something that we've learned to be very, very important also in the water sector. One of the other working groups that we have, the Urban Lab Group, that's hosted urban labs in Denmark for the past two years, bringing together international young water professionals from various fields, from various countries, to work on a very specific problem. And what we realized doing it is that we can't do it alone. So we really depend on international expertise, on gaining knowledge and experiences from all around the world. So what we really try to do is invite other chapters in to exchange knowledge in each of these working areas that we cover. And what we really want to do is also meet with all of you and one perfect opportunity for that would be during the World Water Congress and Exhibition in Copenhagen in 2020.